Hi, it's Mr. Maney here. Um, I got a request by a student, Dom Dawson, about how to use uh, graphics calculators to do a few things. So I'm going to make a few videos just to address those. Um, the first of these is basically how to find area under this curve. Um, so the curve's been described by this equation here. I've sketched it already. And as you can see, there's two areas which are bounded by the curve itself on the x-axis. And we want to actually find or use a graphics calculator to find how that um, area might be done in an efficient way. So clearly we could do this manually, but if we have technology available, um, it's a good idea to demonstrate your understanding of that. It's quicker and oftentimes it eliminates some simple mistakes. So I've already placed the equation into the graphics calculator. I'm just going to adjust the window. Um, to actually show what might be a useful one. So you can see in my window here, negative one is my last value of which I'm concerned with. So I'm just going to put negative two in there just to bring it over a bit to the left. And I need to go over as far as five on the right. So I'll just put something a bit bigger, maybe six. My scale is one's appropriate. Now I don't know what my y and x, so my maximum y and minimum y values are. So I'll just estimate at negative 20 and 20. Oops. And a scale of five there might be appropriate too. So you can see there that I've just placed those in there and I'll try graphing them. So the two graphs now are not dissimilar. And so what we want to do now is see if we can get the graphics calculator to do some of the, um, the tedious work for us. You'll notice that there are in fact two areas here. Now if we were to um, find the area of the whole graph here, um, all at once, it would find this as a positive area, this area I'm going to call area 1, and it would find area 2 as a negative area, and then it would go ahead and add them together. Now we know if the, we add a positive to a negative, it's in fact effectively going to subtract the area. So we're actually going to find something which doesn't represent the total area, more it would represent the distance between the two of them. So what we need to do is actually use or calculate area 1 separate to area 2 and then add the magnitude of those areas, the size of them. So I'm going to say, and this is perhaps one way you could put it down in your um, response on the exam, should be, be asked something like this. So using GC, sketch the curve as shown. and find points of intersection. So in some um, questions you won't be given this and it's a good idea to actually sketch it first up to see if in fact our graph does cross the uh, x in, uh, sorry, the x-axis. If it does, these will be the lower and upper bound for our first area and the two and the five will be our lower and upper bound respectively for our second area. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's go area 1 is the integral from negative 1 to 2 of this equation, x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 5. And then we can just place that into the calculator. So I'll show you two ways of doing this. The first is perhaps the easiest. I'll go, having the graph on there, I'll go second calc, and then choosing option 7, which is the integral option. I can then, I'm then prompted for my lower limit, which we've just discussed as negative 1. And then prompted again for my upper limit, which is 2. And it'll actually sketch in there. You can actually visually see that you're getting the whole area. And down there it's actually listed as what it is. And this is 20.25. Now being an area, we put in the square units there. Okay. We can then repeat the process here. Um, so we can go second calc and press 7 again and this time we'll put lower limit of 2 in and upper limit of 5 and it will again shade that area. So let's do that. 2 for the lower limit, 5 for the upper. Again it shades this. This time you'll notice that their area is given as a negative. It is negative 20.25. So we can say area 2 is the integral from 2 to 5 of this same equation and it's negative 20.25 which equals 
20.25 square units. So effectively by going from this line to this line you're acknowledging that you've got an area that will in fact be positive and our total area AT will equal 20.25 our initial area plus our second area A2 is 40.50 square units. Okay, and that's done. Now just before you sign out, I'll show you one other way that you can actually do that. Again, I just want to reinforce the fact that if you've got a, a picture, you can actually see where these values are cutting. And remembering that you can use second trace in order to find the zeros. Now the zeros are our intercepts. So if I select two there and I want to find that zero, let's say it's at the middle one, you might notice that the cursor is moving across. I go to a left bound, I'm prompted to the left bound there. I then move across to the right bound. Okay, or I'm prompted to the right bound and I move it to the right of where that um, graph cuts the x-axis. And then press enter and then I'm finally asked to guess so it's prompting me to say do you really want me to guess and the answer of course is yes and you can see my zero is at x equals two so that shows the bounds so if we don't know the bounds already um, we can actually identify them using the calculator they are and you will know this from past experience the bounds will be negative one two and five from there but if you're unsure you can always check on the calculator now as I said before I sign off, just want to show you one other option that you can use and that is if you go to math and the option 9 down here is function um, integral so we'd select 9 and our function integral here, I might just quit that for the moment, try again, so under math 9, there it is, it's better up there and now you can put in your, your same things, lower bounds of negative 1, upper bound of 2 and your function x plus 1 x minus 2 and x plus 5 and don't forget to put it in re with respect to x so I select there and then press enter and it should have actually calculated that for me I've made an error there just go back it, just by navigating up you can get that same thing again if you enter it you can then go and edit it. So second, or just delete that part, and second insert, you can put a bracket, that's better. And have I got the right number of brackets? One, two, three, I need an additional bracket just at the end. Let's see if that's worked. Okay, and there it actually goes through and calculates for us. Once again, I've made an error. My haste was too much. You can see I've put the wrong numbers, which is why they don't match up. One last time. So navigate up, press enter. Go back over here. Let's make that a minus. And there we go. We get the 20.25. So my apologies for the repeated times there, but I think we've shown you how to edit things a bit too, which might come in handy. Okay, um, more videos to come. And if you've got any requests, please let us know. Thanks for listening.